Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, <laughs> I'm your Chief Tronka, and today I'm going to continue my Howland Reed campaign, or my Reed Lord of the Neck campaign in the Game of Thrones modification. And now uh, this is actually pretty interesting here, we are currently leading troops in Good Brook, which is that over here? Is that is that Good Brook? Yeah, so we're in this battle where uh, the Northmen are fighting... Um, Lord Mark the Second of Acorns Rich. In this in this battle, we are in this battle. We're actually leading a flank. Um, yeah, we're only leading a flank. We're not leading an entire army. And fighting across the field, uh, we saw this highborn noble cut off from the rest. Now he is a Trent. He's actually a Lord of Gallows Grey over here, and he's 22 years old. Quite a young lad. He's a skilled fighter. He's a squire. He's not a he's not a knight yet. Uh, he's patient, gregarious, charitable. Uh, well, I guess charitable and gregarious are not that important. Neither is diligent. But he's a brave and patient person. And patient does give him defense plus twenty. So he has, he has some good combat um, modifiers. And his dual skill multiplier is ten. Uh, his martial is only seven though. Um, however, we are fifty five. And um, we have a dual skill of 10, um, but we are defender, we're also skilled fighter, uh, we're dutiful commander, and we're also brave, uh, but that's it. Maybe Roth will give us something, but that's it. And the thing is, if we die, we're going to take over and play as Lady Mera of Old Castle, and we're probably going to have to join our husband in his war against the Mandalays. Actually, where are we? Right, over here against the Malleys, and if this gentleman dies, then uh, someone will take over Raymond Piper. So a new dynasty will take over. And actually, wow, that's actually the son. No, that's... Yeah, that's the son of the dude we're currently fighting. So this guy we're currently at war with, and his son will take over that holding if we slay this dude. So we'll see what happens. So charge. And as you get closer, you realize the enemy soldier is Lord Lester. Prepare to die, trans scum. Now I need to get out of here. I don't really want to fight. Um But I'm not a craven. I'm not a craven. I'm brave. I'm not gonna run away. So prepare to die, trans scum. So there you go. In the midst of the battle, you and Lord Lester circle each other, tense and focused. The raging scene around you seems to slow down as you scan him for any signs of weakness, any opening, blah blah blah. Okay, so we're just gonna click this button. Uh, Lord Lester allows you to take the initiative, patiently holding his ground. Yes, he is patient. Uh, while parrying your strikes, you grow tired from this, leaving a hole in your defense. This is when he strikes. Oh no, defend yourself. Lord Lester overwhelms your defense and with a mighty blow sends you sprawling to the ground. Well, he's 22. That is, he could be my son. He could be my grandson. Anyway, you look up at him, towering above you, ready to deliver the finishing blow. Yield, yield. Consider your yield. You roll. Oh, okay. So I could yield, which means I give up, and he might kill me. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not finished yet. So I will roll over to dodge the final blow. He strikes, but you roll to dodge just in time, taking no more than a flash wound. You force yourself back to your feet and hold your weapon ready. Um, you won't get another chance, so I will have 50% chance of gaining the trait wounded and 1% of you lose an eye. Okay, nothing happened, apparently. Oh, I'm wounded. God darn it. The flesh wound will not stop me. Oh. Oh, I can get maimed. Okay. Your grievous injury is clearly hampering as you assume the position to duel Lord Lester. He seems confident because of this, but you hold your ground regardless, ready to take advantage of any opening in his defense that you'd possibly exploit. My injury will not halt my strike. And he's striking again. I roll to dodge the final blow. No, it looks like I'm not gonna get killed by this. One per chance of I lose an eye. I didn't. You and Lord Lester slowly circle each other. My injury will not hold my strike. Wow, he's... Yeah. 
You try to hold Lord Lester back, but his onslaught is unstoppable. You only slip once, but once is all he needs. Arrgh. Lord Howland the Bold dies. Lord Lester is victorious. Now, this is unfortunate, and I could have yielded, but I just think I'm not the type of guy to do this. I just should not have been on the battlefield. Um, that was uh, Rickon and uh, now uh, Walton's fault. I just should not have... I should not have had left the neck. Well, that is very unfortunate. So, Ark. Lord Howland has been grasped by honorable death at age 55. It's not too old. He was slain by Lord Lester of Gallows Grey in personal combat. Long live Lady Mera. Okay, so be it. And, um, hold on a second. I'm sorry for this little cut, but I had to look something up. Now, um, Lord Howland, I died, so be it. And, uh, I have a new heir. I have my daughter, Jonella jo Reed. She's two years old, and so far she's only deceitful. Um, making her intrigue quite high. Interesting. And my spy master has been appointed as regent, right? Because I am on a quest. That is unfortunate. So let's stop the pause the game. I'm no longer in com command, which is great. And um, yeah, I don't know if I'm on a quest. I'm not at court. How could I have sex with Lord Alton? I don't know, but it somehow worked. Hopefully, I will be back at some point. I only got a weak claim on the Lodge of Twins. Um, that is unfortunate. I inherited it, but I only have a weak claim now. So we'll see what happens. And I'm 36 years old. I'm a dutiful commander. A holy warrior, actually. So I fight best against heathens and infidels. But I hesitate in battle against those of the same faith. Makes sense. Um, I'm attractive. Mm, most pleasing physique. Most attractive to the opposite sex. So he's really lucky he got me. Um, I'm a trained fighter, which is fine, but, you know, not too good. I'm also mystic, which is probably everyone, every chronic man. Um, I'm a hunter, I'm very good at hunting. I'm diligent, which means I'm beautiful and diligent. Yeah, fourth of the seven virtues, nice. I'm also ambitious and brave, like my father. Also proud, uh, but my father lost that trade uh, at some point. Uh, I'm kind and a lunatic. So I'm stark raving mad. Wow. And I'm missing. And uh, that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm presumed dead, which is weird because I just had a kid. But yeah. Now, one thing I was looking up was um, the following. This is just what I'm just going to pledge right now. To Winterfell, I pledge the faith of Greywater. Hearth and heart and harvest. We yield, we yield up to you, my lord. Our swords and spears and arrows are yours to command. Grant mercy to our weak, help to our helpless, and justice to all, and we shall never fail you. I swear it by earth and water, I swear it by bronze and iron, I swear it by ice and fire. Now this is uh, a quote. Actually, Mera and Jojen both said that when they uh, arrived in Winterfell for probably their first time, and they pledged allegiance to Rob Stark. However, Rob Stark was not around because he was uh, walking around with his army. Um, but we are pledging allegiance to Brandon Stark. And then after that, Winterfell got sacked and uh, Mera and Jojen escaped with um, not Walton, but with Rickon and Bran, Bran Stark. So, yeah. So I just pledge allegiance to Lord Walton over here. Even though he's kind of Mm. He's a one-year-old. Uh, it's kind of weird pledging allegiance to a one-year-old, but whatever. So let's continue here. Um, my, my husband might call me into his weird war. Yes, he will. Dear Mera, I would like to invite you to join me for a small gathering of friends to dine and drink and forget about the world outside for a little while. Please be prepared to reserve a few days for this in case we get truly into the spirit of the proceedings. Is he hitting on me? It certainly sounds like it. Hey, my, I mean, his 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 wife is younger than me. Uh, but it's it does sound like he's hitting on me. He's carousing. Okay. He he strives to become more popular and outgoing by hosting wild parties. Okay. 
Anyway, um, now, I think this is, I have to do this, I'm his liege, so I'll ha of course I will come, of course. Um, but I can pick an ambition, and I will pick ambition, obviously. If I'm a hunter, I definitely will pick the hunting ambition. So let's do this. And I want to have a, I want to have five children. Okay, well, there you go. It's, I can do this. And I have a claim on twins that I could press right now. I should probably do that. Uh, this guy, he has River Run, North Wield, and Blue Fork. I don't have that many troops. I only got 1,600 troops. And my husband wants me to join. And I will have to accept this. My father didn't, but I have to. It's my husband. Wow, and we're actually fighting a lot of people. Okay, so... And special action. Banish Lord Merrill of Blackmire. Why? Uh, oh, oh, okay. So I can castrate him. He's your prisoner. You might give him the order to castrate and turn him into a... Okay, I'm not gonna do this. Now, he only hates me for imprisoned. Attraction to Lunik. Okay. Um, I think I will ransom you. 70 gold. You cannot do this. Well, let me tell you what. You did something towards my father. I think you've sit in for long enough. So I will release you from prison. There you go. And I will give you a honorary title. I will make you master of the horse. How do you like that? I don't want to have people hating me all the time. Now he's the master of the hunt. And this guy is... He's an honorary title. Hi, Almana. I'm making my cup bearer. He's my regent anyways. So I might as well. Okay. So I can raise 1,900... Yeah, pretty much like 2,000 men. I think they can raise way more than that. If I was to declare to claim the twins, I would love to do this. Um, how old is this guy? He's seven, and he's currently fighting Aiken's Rich. Okay, well, he's not fighting anyone. Okay. Huh. I think I'm not going to do this. I have other things. Actually... Yes, I could. I have mercenaries. I have enough money to hire mercenaries. The Hedge Knights. Well, that's not really a lot of people. Stupid Hedge Knight. Sa sell Sail Fleet. I want to have, like, the Dornish Spearman. Edric. Captain of the Dornish Spearman. The Ironborn Raiders. Those are ships. No, those are actual troops. Okay. They're actually much better. They're much cheaper. I want to have cost. Um, three six. Okay, so this guy, the Ironborn Raiders, so they're probably the cheapest, but they cost more. What? What? But they cost less over. Less. They cost less money monthly, but they're more troops. Okay, so I guess I will uh, pick these guys, the Ironborn Raiders. And I will claim the twins. That's gonna cost me. I think I'll declare war on them. I'll just do this. Yes, I'm ready to do this. Claim the twins. And call in... Lord Bowen. He will, yes, he will want to do... Yeah, he wants to do this. He does not like the phrase, and he's my spouse, so he'll join me as well. I will have to raise my troops. And uh, you go here, and you have to meet up. Do you have any ships? You do not have any ships. 1,200 men. What is the garrison? It's 2,000 men. Wow. Okay, so uh, let's meet up then. And I will have to raise the mercenaries, and I will raise... Where are they again? I just had them. I lost them. There you go. Menfrey. 
but I don't need the ships. Thank you. I don't need that. I only need these guys. Very low morale. And he honored his obligation and went to war. Both of them joined. Okay, 200 men and uh, 1,000. And Walton Stark wants me to become Master at Arms or Chief General. That's okay. I'm going for the twins. Yeah. He called in Sir of Northfield. This is the second war for the Knack. Now oh, that's that guy. Oh, he has 2,000 men. Wow. And the Riveron lady. She has another... Well, she doesn't have many. But that dude is very powerful. Wow, and I... This, this holding is just... Wow. Unbelievable. It's strong. 5 on the 28th. First. Okay. 27th of July. So we'll have to kill these armies. Go to the twins. Okay, we destroyed an army. Nice. So we'll siege the twins down. Nice. So hopefully that works out. Oh, we're losing quite a bunch of money. Wow. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hurts. I wonder if I can lead troops. No. I'm in Winterfell to train troops. So, but I'm still missing. Okay. Interesting. So 3,200 men. Should probably go down and kill that guy. However, if I kill them, I might not have enough troops to siege. Well, let's kill them before they combine. Kill the 500 crossing men. And we'll see what happens. Come on. We'll kill these 400 in River Run. Actually have a river crossing here. Must be a minor river though. Okay, we killed them completely. Which is not too much. So we'll have to siege the twins. And we won this battle against uh, the Mandalays. So hopefully my husband will help me out in this then. Just so we can siege this really quickly. Kill to kid to kidnap Holly. Who is Holly? Can I could I please know who Holly is? Find Holly. Who is Holly? Oh, that must be her. You want to kidnap that? She's tall. She's huge and a wildling. Why why do you want to kidnap that woman? No, not gonna. <laughs> you a lunatic. Just because I'm lunatic doesn't mean... No, a Westerman. What? No. Oh. Okay, are you now? What are you now? Okay, well... Grave news. Master Kraken having... Tending wounds of the... Uh, the reporter have cracked under the stress of the steam cross injuries. The men... Are now unnerved because of this. No! I lose morale. Oh, what's going on? Apparently, this guy is at war. Iron King Rook the Iron Isles in the Iron Throne Iron Islander de Jure War over the Iron Isles. Okay, so the Iron Throne and the Vale and the and Dorn are at war with the Iron Isles and some other dude. No way! I have ascended to heaven at age 37. She died, possibly only went missing. Long live Lady Janella. Well, that was very quick. Battle of Hagsmire. Oh. And we have the same regent. But he does not like me. Oh my god, he's envious. I need. I'm heir to Old Castle. Unless he actually, and he's 35, he might marry again and get another kid. But I'm still his, well, if he gets a son, that would be terrible. Ouch. So is he, is he in this war? 
He is, okay. Oh, incom incompetent military ruler. Oh, that is unfortunate, but we'll have to do the best of it. And look at this, look at the north. So strong. Hopefully the north will do something about winter. But that was it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Now, unfortunately, uh, we had two deaths in this episode. That's, that's very terrible. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, continue as Lady Janela of the Neck. So see you next time. Steve Trunka, signing off.